If you have a Grayscale Gorilla account, you'll find that they have a Blender plugin to help import their PBR materials. This video will quickly go over downloading their Blender material importer, installing it and using it. I'm using Octane as my render engine. Go to the Grayscale Gorilla website. Click the account icon on the upper right and click plus downloads. Scroll down until you see the Blender material importer and click it. I have a Windows machine, so I will download the Windows version. Save the zip file to an appropriate location. From Blender, go to Edit, Preferences, and install the plugin from the zip. You should now see the plugin. Activate it by checking the box. If you go to File, Import, you should now see the Grayscale Gorilla Material option at the bottom. We will now go to the Grayscale Gorilla website and download a few assets. Pick an HDRI. I'm using the museum parking lot. Save it to a location. Pick a 3D model. I'm using the coffee table. Finally, select the material to apply to your 3D model. These files will be in a zip format. Unlike the plugin, we'll need to unzip them before we can use them. After unzipping, you can delete the original zip files. In Blender, let's start by importing the FBX asset. Go to File, Import, FBX. Now let's load in the HDRI we downloaded. Activate the Octane Preview viewport. Check that Legacy Gamma is set to 1. If you're using cycles and environment textures, the gamma is internally set to 1. Now let's make sure the viewport is set to raw so that Octane can use its own color management system. The color should look proper now. Let's add a plane and use it to catch shadows. Give it a new material and sign it as a shadow catcher. If you select the coffee table mesh, you can see that there are no materials assigned. We'll use the Grayscale Gorilla Material Importer to bring in the material, then we'll assign it to our mesh. Select the directory where you have unzipped the material folders. You should see a window with the name of the material or materials and the target render engine for the material setup. Cycles and Eevee are the only options at this time, but we'll use the Octane Material Converter to allow this to work in Octane. Import the material and select the mesh. Then assign the imported material to the mesh. The assigned material is not showing in the viewport because it was built for Cycles and Eevee. So we'll now convert it to work with Octane. Scroll down to Converter. Expand it. Leave the default and click OK. You should now see the material applied to the mesh. Assign the converted material to the rest of the mesh. That's the end of the tutorial, and I'm looking forward to reading your questions and comments.
If you like this video, I would appreciate a like and a sub. Until next time.